Mina konnichiwa. It is time for your daily dose of your vitamins and your nutrients. Okay, how should I say this? Okay, let's try this. I've been waiting for this one for so dang long that it's now available on console. Yeah! I had to say it like that because I've been waiting for the Corniff or actually this talent shotgun to be revealed and be implemented into the de dang game. And it looks good. But actually, let's go over the good news about this. They've done a good job on making this weapon. How it looks, yes. How it feels, good, well done. How it sounds, I need to take a moment of silence. And that's how a shotgun is supposed to sound. A pump action shotgun. The coordinate is like the Agroplasmore with the fake or heck and the Tickers Prime. Now, if the Tickers Prime screwed over or have sex with the fake or heck and just left the fake or heck behind and had sex with the Archiplasmore, I think that's how the Coronet would end up turning out to be what it looks like right now. But man, I'm sorry to put that that way, but that's how it, it sounds like, okay? Pump action, a little bit of slash, and almost a critting weapon. Well, actually, it's a critting weapon, so that's one thing to keep you guys in mind. But another thing is the Master Rank 10 weapon, so you may want to rank up your Master Rank this weekend because it's still XP. Get that on as well, too. And it's available in the market. Either you want it for credits or for platinum. I recommend the credits because you don't have to spend platinum. Yes! Also, get some night tank if you have some. I mean it. Okay, so even though we talk about that, what is the stats of the weapon? Well, this is what it looks like right now. And it's qualified for crit, it's qualified for status. So, what do you think? I think it's still good. But the fire rate, however, let's go over the pros and cons real quick. The cons, the only cons I can think of is the fire rate. And, yeah, the fire rate. And also a little bit of reload, because that's the bad news. A little bit of damage start to show off a little bit of low DPS when you go into end game, if you don't mind, right? Because it happens, it happens. I know. There are two different firing modes for the weapon, but the only con about the second firing mode is that it doesn't do that much damage. It's better if you do it with finishers or for CC, crowd control. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you for that. But it still can do grenade launching damage. However, I wonder why this is not on every weapon, but DE, I wonder if this is going to be still coming, something like this is going to be coming around in other future explosive weapons, if I can put it. But speaking of shotguns and weapons, man, this is actually lo looking good and it feels good though. It is time for you to those your mods for you to use. This is a two form build because I'm going a little bit less on forma and cheap side, since it can do well with dual stats and two forma and I am using I mean using shotgun spaz and chilling reload because you can get more fire rate but also a little bit more damage if I'm going for a viral build then that will be much more helpful too yes sir but it's a corrosive corrosive cold build with the shotgun spaz because of the fire rate you also have in stored hundred munitions and laser sight that's the build I'm looking forward to because of, well what I usually explain or should have said on the boss build, because of the high cri critical chance on the laser sight, you're able to manipulate or use the pellets and hunter munitions to do much more slash than overall. That helps much more. And the last one is the vigilante build, which can work with vigilante bolt or any vigilante build for your warframe, because it can use vigilante fever, fervor, and the other one for. For, oh, ornaments for your multi shot. I know multi shot is not the greatest thing ever to do. I mean, multi shot on top of multi shot is the greatest thing ever because it can ruin your accuracy a bit. But hey, it can still work because it can increase your status as long as you're not using, like, you know, trying to go for a head that often, if I'm correct. But still, the weapon is good. I suggest you should buy, I mean, build this weapon, not buy. If you think about buying it, if you have like 100,000 plat, then yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. This weapon, you should get it. It can do slash if you use 100 munitions, but for anging wise, 100 munitions is better. For mid level to near sword T level 
if I'm correct. Good for the if you just want to go for the fun route, route hunt missions. That's all I can put in there. Yeah, let's go with that. Anyway, okay, guys, my name is Travis Shay. <laughs> but if you enjoy your stay, don't forget to leave a like and make sure to subscribe. And to the operators, I'll see you later. Get this one right now, and you'll enjoy it.